it's like breadcrumbs we have to go back and pick them up so uh, if you follow my Instagram at Iron Trap I posted a teaser on one of my stories like a week or two ago where I was walking up a ladder went into this old attic and shine my light there's just like hundred hubcaps and all kinds of car parts so I bought the contents of this ag attic of an old service station and we're gonna go up and see what's there I kind of took that quick glance and it made a deal and while we were at it we were driving by a old uh, place where I bought a 1928-29 Durant uh, it was part of the Chrysler that I pulled out as part of the deal that I take that as well so I kind of forgot about that car and remembered we were be passing by so two for one two for one uh, gonna go dig stuff out and pick up a car and have a lot of fun there is no good way to get these parts out of the attic so we're gonna have to like hand a tub down which is why we got two young guys that are really enthusiastic because we're just gonna throw parts down the ladder out of yeah, the ladder yeah. <laughs> yep so it should be fun so we're, we're gonna drive a little down the road and uh see what kind of trouble we get into Turn them down though, because they'll die in like an hour. Yep. Though it'll still be plenty bright. Oh yeah. So Matt, this is your honey hole. Yeah. It's hubcap like, Central. It's a little spot. We won't tell anybody what I paid because uh, upset some folks. You got you guys will be a little angry. But it was it was affordable. But we bought it as a gamble. I had no idea. I mean, the quick little Instagram shot that you guys saw. That was all I knew. I looked, shine my flashlight, said, okay, I'll take it. So we are literally, I mean, I might have moved a couple things. I saw some Y block Mercury valve covers for Andrew, and I kind of bought it on that whim that I knew those were worth, you know, maybe 100 bucks or 75 bucks in the right market. So I'd try and buy the whole thing and see what happens. So there's a lot here, and a lot of hubcaps. A lot of holes in the floor too. So. Yeah, there's a lot of holes. There's boards and the family only let a couple of us up here. So as as you would expect. First thing I saw that was cool is that's an accessory hubcap that I have one or two of already. So this might, be, this might make a set. So we got a tub we're gonna drag up and uh, start filling the tub and then, and then hanging it down to uh, Andrew and Trent. So we're going to uh, start working. Get started, yeah. This stuff. Lincoln B12 Zephyr coil goes on top of the distributor. We might have thrown that coil down that, that distributor. I didn't take a look at it. Yeah. This is a this <coughs> old uh, B12 Lincoln Zephyr coil, original one. Geeky stuff, but you just is, bought one yesterday. I just bought one at an auction yesterday, and I'm sure I paid more and it's not nearly as nice as this one. So now of course I got two, that's how it works. So we made it then. 
<laughs> We're slowly making progress. Slowly making it dead. Now that I shut the camera off and turned it back on. There's this, this is a box of treasure. Lincoln hood ornament. I don't know, but I think it might be. That might be Zephyr. I'll put that in a box of fragiles. Oh, it's a radiator cap, too. Yeah, oh, it's a radiator cap. I'm just trying to see. Yeah. Wow. This is why we do this stuff. This is awesome. So cool. Yeah, that's a good what one. What else is in that box? Oh, yeah, maybe we should look before you stop. Eh, not a lot. All right, so we're working our way over here, and on this side you can see there is a bunch of cranks, but this has kind of caught my eye. It's a bunch of old Ford truck manuals. Truck. 4852 truck. And we had a mouse that was a uh, early Ford enthusiast. Yeah, they're, they're the tastiest apparently. We got to this top book, but I think the ones underneath, other than this cover, are actually all right. But these are all Ford, Ford truck. This is Ford chassis and parts and accessories, 52. Send that down to the boys. Yeah, this is all Ford factory Ford uh, manuals and parts books. All right, so we pulled one out and we found a second one. Um, these are called <coughs> the Air Thief. And what it is, is you can steal air from one tire to another. Take your flashlight away. There you go. So you can steal the air from like the spare tire and put it in your tractor or vice versa. But it's a little kick. We found a couple of these in this box of uh, nails. Just where you would think you'd find old accessory parts. So Mike was digging and he found yes. something awesome. I was digging in this endless pile of hubcaps <laughs> and I found this old horn. I'm not sure. He thought it was a, you know, we got excited because he thought it was an early Ford horn. Spartan something. We'll Some... see if it runs off a, not sure, it may run off a 110. We could rig this up as a doorbell at Matt's garage. Yeah. It's got a little coil right here. And a you switch. And press down. Let me get out of the way of this light. Press down go. and activates a coil and the horn goes beep, 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 beep. Yeah, it's so neutral, hot. I mean, it may have been rigged up to a car battery. Who knows? But, but it's, it's an old, we're going to have to ask uh, Buck about that when yeah, we get down there. He might cool. he might know the story on this, but it probably was. Yeah, it'd be the, perfect at your shop. Hook up a pool cord through the wall. So if someone comes up and goes, meep, 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 meep. Oh, that would be super annoying. <laughs> yeah, the moon would love that. Yeah. So, we'll so that's cool. We're going to set that aside. That's pretty neat. Yeah. All right, so I've actually been looking for a set of these for a while. Um, what they are is they're like radius rods for an uh, old Ford tractor, like an 8N or 9N or something like that. I'm sure somebody will correct me because I don't know old Ford tractors that well. But it's like the radius rod, but it uses, kind of shares Ford parts. What's neat is it has these little straddle brackets where it, it straddles the frame, perfect for like a hot rod frame, and then it's got this capture section underneath where it has a ball and socket and it captures it. So if you're doing split bones, this is a really cool way, I always thought, to do on a car where you could put this cast bracket on and mount your split bones on the bottom of your frame and it'll look like a factory setup. So we found a pair of them down here and they were torched off at some point, but what we really care about is this end section with the ball because we can graft that into um, into something when we're doing a split, split wishbone. So that's a cool little score. All right, so we're getting through a lot of the hubcaps. We're almost through all of the hubcaps, but now we're kind of going through the rubble, and we are finding flathead parts in this mess. There's some flathead cranks, uh, rods rather. So we will see what's usable and take it with us, if it is usable. What base is this? E1, Stromberg 97 car base. Keep walking.
hat. This is what I spotted. Super cool. It's got some kind of grossness on the bottom. It's a shift knob. Once we get all this weird stuff that's... A little spit shine. A little spit shine. That killer little shift knob. I mean, the, the holes there, he's got to clean whatever melted on it. But that's really neat, like Bakelite knob. Awesome. That's why we got to go through every box, because there's little trinkets mixed in. That was it. I think that might have been it on this box. I'm glad I looked in it. That knob is really cool. Sight or clear plastic on the other side. That's gotta be good. All right, I'm gonna hand this to Andrew. Careful. That's why you dig underneath all this. You saw my shop in, in the videos, right? Yeah, we, we oh, didn't watch hey. everything. I can't yeah. wait to sit down and watch all that. Yeah, I do all that. We show how we build the hot rods and stuff, too. That's the main thing we do. But do you have people come and visit your shop? Yeah, yeah. We do. We call it Sunday service. So normally I say on Sundays we're working on stuff. And the, these two these guys come over and help and learn. And then uh, anybody wants to visit can come over. So you think oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Sundays. I call it Sunday service because that's, my, you that's our church. You give me your phone number and address. Okay. Maybe some Sunday we'll come down. Of course, yeah. yeah. Is there a good restaurant around there? Oh eat? yeah, there's tons of good restaurants. There's a car museum right in my town too, an antique car museum. Is it open Sunday? Yep. It's about three months. do that some Sunday. Mm -hmm. See, it's a good time. Yep, it's fantastic. This is one of my less, least favorite decisions. Alright, do you guys um, you use a couple of
So in that last clip, you saw us loading up Matt's latest bad decision. We're gonna add that to the, that might be number one. This, this we bought some very dumb Yeah, if this was a Model A, it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. But it's a freaking Durant. Nobody wants them, really. Well, why did I do that? And to make things worse, we're currently on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, which the speed limit is 70 miles an hour. And I don't think this car has ever seen 70 miles an hour in its nope. life in nope. pristine condition. Nope. And the one door is currently held on solely by some wire and a ratchet strap. Yep. And uh, we also have vegetation living on the roof. We have I... a bet going. We're not yeah. sure who's going to win, but there is a plant growing out of the tarp that's on the Durant right now. You might even be able to see it. If not, I'll drop in a photo of it before uh, we left. It's hanging on for dear life still. And we're doing what, 60? 55, 60, yeah. We're, so, we're... apologies to anyone that got behind us currently on the turnpike heading eastbound, but uh, yeah, it's a mess. Yeah, we, uh, anytime you tow like a car like this that's been sitting in the woods or in a barn or whatever, it doesn't matter how good you clean it off, the first like 10 miles, you're just like a dust screen coming behind you. And in this case, it's like vegetation dirt. And, and dirt. And people are still riding our butts, even with my four-way on going below the speed limit to let the car kind of clear out. And they're just turning their windshield wipers on. Why? Go around me, please. But, but anyways, it's fun. We had a good day. The truck is absolutely filled. Uh, there's like literally, there's stuff here. You can see the plant. Oh my god. We lost our plant. Oh no. Did we? We just lost the plant. Yeah. <laughs> Where goes Jimmy? Oh, the, the tarp oh. is getting full of air. Oh it's boy. Like a, we might want to pull over. Well, we have, currently have a balloon. <laughs> well, hot air balloon. We're going to get back to that uh, shop eventually. So we'll check back in with you guys, show you the craziness that we uh, have purchased. What a day. What a day. So. Let's go for a little trip. We're sitting on the side of the turnpike. You see now why I didn't want to like lift it up. Can you go around this? No, not around that. Tie it around. Not around this. All right, we survived. Yeah. After uh, stopping on the highway and reevaluating our life decisions. Horrible. Matt, I should say our. Matt's life to shit. Yeah, you are just stuck on this uh, yeah, trip. Yeah, this, this is a mess. But we got this car, and we're just about home. And uh, after that last stop, when we were we were kind of talking for a bit, and then we were like, "Oh crap!" It stopped. The tarp that they had on the roof was just like coming undone. It looked like a circus tank going down the road. <laughs> it was just, and there's stuff. So the tarp is literally covered in carpenter ants and fire ants. They're everywhere. It's. Well, hopefully that's, not now. Well, yeah, that's true. Maybe we, they blew off. And the mouse. And, uh, and we uh, found a mouse. Yeah, a mouse. When we were tying the tarp down, a mouse came running around. So we're bringing home some pets for, for Kate. And, she'll be uh, excited. She'll be excited for a mouse. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, this car is really rough. It's actually more rough than I even remember. But it's a good vehicle, too, for parts. I mean, I'd hate to see the thing get crushed. So there's still some really good salvageable parts. I have a guy that's interested in the engine that has one of these, so maybe if the engine's usable, he can use that. Maybe we can use the frame for a speedster. Maybe, I don't know. But if not, somebody can use the remains for a yeah. speedster. The grill's usable. There's some neat stuff. There's a really cool taillight on the back that I, kind of the whole reason I bought the car is because I like the taillight. I bought this whole <laughs> car for the taillight. Not uncommon. Not at all. He so, bought a whole bed full of hubcaps for the fun of it. A, a carburetor. Yeah, a lot of hubcaps. So, we are going to get everything home. Hershey is in... Two days. Two, three days. So, two Matt days. and I will be there Tuesday setting up. And then we'll be there... We'll, he'll be there all day Tuesday. Yep. I have to go home and 
sleep because I worked that the night before. But we'll be there Tuesday setting up, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll basically be there from. He'll be there all night. Yeah, yeah. So if there's anything good going on, you see any scores of deals or something I gotta see or buy. Uh, and he's find it with a flashlight at night and hit me up. Yeah, and if you guys that aren't in the area that can't go to Hershey, you know, you want to see something specific at Hershey, like, put a comment below. We're going to be filming basically for three days straight. So if there's something you guys want to see, we're going to try and film as much as we possibly can so you guys can really experience the yeah. pandemonium. Suit you're missing. You got to yeah. come. It's absolutely... It's awesome. The first time is almost overwhelming because there's literally so much everywhere. It's just like yeah, it's, shock it's and crazy. all. So we will be filming all week like Mike said and uh, make sure you hit us up. We're going to be set up in chocolate. Uh, CA25 is the space that will get you in, in our hood. Um, and just ask if you see somebody there and we may or may not be around or send a DM on Instagram or send us an email irontrapgarage at gmail.com and we'll have a bunch of our uh, Ride With Us t-shirts. You can grab one of those if you guys have been wanting one. Um, we might even do a few giveaways. And oh yeah, if you want a, if you want a mystery hubcap lottery, yes. I decided this while I was digging through it. Drop uh, the first three people that comment on this video below. Uh, we're going to give the hubcap lottery and I'm going to send you a free hubcap from this bed full of hubcaps. You don't get the pig. We're just going to send you a it's random probably, one. It's probably going to suck, but it'll still be a, a, a hubcap. Sell it, Matt. Sell it. From this pile. It'll be fun. It'll be an adventure. Yeah. So first three people to comment, we'll send you a free hubcap and some stickers just for the fun of it. And uh, yeah, that's all we got. Yeah, so. that's awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Catch you later.